Okay guys, but welcome back to another Sir Spooks reaction. Today we're going to be checking out Sir Spooks top five scary videos that are too disturbing to watch alone. So let's go ahead and get right into the video, shall we? Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks. Hello, Sir today Spooks. we'll take a look at five scary videos. But before we like begin, always, guys, be sure to subscribe. Like always guys, the original will be linked in the description, so any likes or are subs or anything you want to do for Mr. Spooks, just follow the uh, link in the description back to the original video. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. When you're at it, if you enjoy my video, give me a like. If you want to see more of my videos, give me a uh, sub. Alright, let's begin. The following video was published to TikTok by a username Chell Del okay. Bell, who uploaded a piece of genuinely creepy footage that shows that you can experience something terrifying even in the comfort. Holy crap, that is terrifying! Is that clean tap water? I've never seen so some. I've never seen something so frightening. There's no way that's real. But of your own bathroom. At the start of the video, Chell says that he just got home from work, and upon entering his house, he heard the tap running in the bathtub. Who has candles on their tub like that? I I mean seriously, uh, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I've seen candles on the counter, but never on the rim of the tub like that. Now this would be normal if Chill lived with a significant other, somebody else who was home at the time. There's just one problem: Chill lives alone. In the video, he promptly turns the tap off, and it's a guy with those candles. Not only a guy, but a guy with almost an arm sleeve, a guy who's tatted up that much? Nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with it. And blows out the trio of mysteriously lit candles before eventually teasing his dog, saying that he was the culprit. A moment later, this happens. So I get off work and uh, <coughs> this is what I come home to. Which would be cool, but I'm um, alone and there's nobody here. Except maybe Digi. Digi, did you run the back? Okay, two problems with that. First off, with the way the water is running, it wouldn't have been running that long. Uh, it would have overflown. Doesn't take that long for it to overflow. Number two, why didn't he dry his hands? I, I mean, seriously, the there's going to be water on the um on the uh, what you may call it on the um door handle and stuff now. I'm not sure if you ever want to go in the bathroom and the person who used it before you didn't dry their hands right and the door handle was wet. Ooh, that's a nasty feeling. Where are you gonna take it? What the f Now it looks like he's living in the bathroom now. Did he? The video ends with Chell going to investigate behind the door where he finds absolutely nothing suspicious. Because of this, many viewers have been left completely confused as to what exactly was going on in this video. Was Chell's house being haunted by a spirit who just wants to take a bath? Was there something even more sinister at play here? Or was this all just one big elaborate hoax? No nervous reaction at all from the dog. Um, I'm gonna have to relook at the scene where he, uh, turns around and the cameras are lit. Be just lit. I meant the candles you know are your lit. thoughts in the comments. More sinister at play here. Because of this, many- Just a second. Okay. Get a look at this. Alone, and there's nobody here. Except maybe Digi. Digi, did you run the bath? Okay. Let's look at this slowly. Where are you gonna take it? What the? F okay. There. There was a cut there, uh, 
as he was turning because basically there had to be otherwise the uh candles would have had to lit uh when he was turning to the right because there's no reflection of the light from the candles at all in the room whatsoever also did you yeah you guys notice that the video ends with let's see if i can stop it in time right right uh to the right of the dog there was something there and it just suddenly vanished it was only there for like a frame did you and you see the dog jump off the bed after it basically there's somebody else in the house with him the video ends with Chell so, no going doubt, to investigate. No doubt whatsoever, this video is fake. Gate behind the door, where he finds absolutely nothing suspicious. Oh wait, was that the dog's tail? That might have been the dog's tail. Because of this, many viewers have been left completely confused as to what exactly was going on in this video. Was Chell's house being haunted by a spirit? I still think it's fake, even if that was the dog's tail. The fact that uh, it wasn't until he started to turn around that the l candles were lit. Who just wants to take a bath? Was there something even more sinister at play here? Or was this all just one big elaborate hoax? And again, he just let me why didn't he dry his hands? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's be real. Most people out there hate going to work. It can be a seemingly never-ending, mundane trudge that you can't quite escape. However, I'm willing to bet that you don't hate work because you're fearing for your life when you clock in. But that's what ended up being the case for this TikTok user named Matt Hall, who recorded this eerie video. In the video, Matt is on the phone with the police while also filming a security camera feed on a television screen above him, which shows a mysterious man locking a bag filled with something across the concrete. Obviously, this freaks Matt out more than a little bit, especially when the strange man abruptly starts to run. Take a look at how the rest of the video goes. There's literally somebody outside, like, dragging a bag at my work. No, sorry, I'm just recording in case something happens. Okay, so he sees a guy dragging a bag, and he sounds like that. And what, he did, did he call the cops or something? Or is he just recording it for the hell of it? It's not exactly an uncommon scene to see somebody dragging a bag. I, I, can't, see, I can't see his face. Where's he coming? He's literally running down to the door. He's coming up to the door right now. See? Ah! Oh my god. He's, he's outside the door. He's outside the door right now. No, there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm literally, it's just this one room. The door, yeah, the door is locked, but. Okay, he saw somebody dragging a bag, called the cops, and basically within seconds, the guy uh, magically knew he was calling the cops, ran to the door, and started banging on it the second he starts walking towards the door. Believable. <laughs> By the way, I've worked as a security guard, and this is bullshit. If this is this guy's reaction to something like this, then he has no business being a security guard. He's like behind the building now. I don't, I don't, can you just get here, please, really? Fortunately, Matt seems to be okay, so let's hope it stays that way and that he doesn't have to deal with any more scary encounters at work. First off, that bag isn't that heavy. If that bag was heavy, dragging it across the street like that would have ripped it open. So there isn't that much weight in the bag. And if that guy is having that much uh, of a struggle to drag it, then either that guy's real weak or they're trying to put on a show. Because as I said, if there's anything heavy in that bag, the street would have ripped it open. A security guard would not have handled the situation like that. And he wouldn't have called the police over somebody simply dragging a bag by. 
It doesn't make sense. I don't know. Maybe maybe security guards at other places handle stuff differently. This guy didn't try to confront the guy at all. He didn't call out to him. Just, hey, look, there's a guy dragging a bag on camera. I know, I'll call the police. You'll get your ass chewed out for that. A YouTube channel named Ragnar and the Viking Family posted this hauntingly creepy video to their account on November 1st, 2022, with the description providing some context, reading, quote, Our house is approximately 300 years old. Damn, 300 years old, wow. The entire family has experienced strange noises and objects moving and falling. Sometimes it feels like there's someone else in the room. Well, it's 300 years old. There's no way that the place is level. I can imagine stuff creaking and falling. Especially when you, uh, if you've uh, moved in new furniture or shifted around anything that's weight-bearing in there, like the table or TV or bed. If you sh uh, shift that stuff around in an old house, it will cause noises from, because the, it has to resettle. Therefore, we set up a camera in the house. End quote. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the video and see what's going on with this family. That house looks good if it's 300 years old. Especially the walls. Flooring doesn't look too bad. Yeah, if that house is 300 years old, I'll take a 300-year-old house in that condition. The house looks like it's in pretty damn good condition. I'm guessing the original house might have been 300 years old, but they must have fucking uh, renovated or at least replaced a lot of the pieces for the house to be looking that nice. I don't recognize that accent. Okay, a chair fell over. Glowy eyes. Okay, either she would have had to seen that before. That girl can be seen sitting down in the chair. Because normally a kid wouldn't react that way over simply a chair falling. Unless it's happened multiple times, which might might be possible. Yeah, working on something on her laptop, when out of nowhere, the chair seen directly next to her begins to move around slowly. Oh, I didn't even notice that chair. On its own. Afterwards, another chair moves as well. Immediately, the girl freaks out and ultimately... Okay, how did she notice that stuff? I can understand if the right side chair moving was just outside of her vision and she just caught it, but... She was looking nowhere near the other chair, and I'm not sure how many of you guys out there use headphones, but headphones will block out a lot of sound. And if she's listening to something like music or a video, or playing a game, it'll block out even more sound. He decides to leave the room to find her dad. In a second video, we follow the dad walking us through the house, saying that he just heard footsteps coming from what sounded like the back of the house despite him and his family being the only ones in the house. He walks us through various sections of the house where all seems to be perfectly normal when all of a sudden... It came from the back of the house and we know with the... That house does look really nice for being so... if it really is so old. The only people in the house. There's no one else here. Because you have to remember, uh... What is it? Even a hundred years ago, there... I don't think there'd be electricity or plumbing uh, things in the house at all. Maybe a hundred years is a little too much. They might have had some back in the 1920s. I don't think so, though. I'm going to stay here. Huh? I'm going to stay here. It's too sad. All right. Didn't come from this area of the house, but it sounds like footsteps. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, the door just closed. Was there someone in? Did you see anyone? No. Be careful. 
You guys hear the uh, floorboards creaking? I, I'm more likely to believe that's an older house now. Guys, anyone in here? I don't think so. No one behind the door. Hello? Hello? Mourinho? Hello? There's no one in here. That's creepy. For the rest of the video, the man continues to search the rest of the rooms in the house, but is ultimately unable to find out what's going on. To this day, it is unknown what was causing the strange noises in the house. We can only hope and pray that this family is living in peace now, instead of fear. It'd be too easy to fake that one, so... Basically, unless I experience myself, I will not believe that, but... I'm more convinced that it's an older house just from the creaking of the floorboards, the way they were creaking. With the way they make the newer houses and the way they treat the woods, they won't... They usually don't creak as much as they used to in the olden days. Not to mention that the way they built them is different now. Well, the way they build them is different now. Going for a nightly walk can be a relaxing and peaceful thing to do in order to get some much needed fresh air and to simply clear your head. It's also a very enjoyable thing to do. However, for this TikTok user, her walk was anything but relaxing. In the video, she says she was just going on a walk when she passed her neighbor's house. Sounds completely fine and normal, right? Well, it would be if her neighbors weren't incredibly creepy. Take a look at the footage and see why the woman is more than a little uncomfortable because of her neighbors. I'm going for a walk and I look up and I see my neighbors. The light in the inside of the house appears to be flickering as we watch a group of people gather around a circle, doing something that we cannot quite tell before eventually darting their heads toward the woman recording. Which is okay, that is complete bullshit. And if you want to talk about creepy, going out in the middle of the night and filming through somebody else's windows into their house, that is fucking creepy. Who cares what they're doing in their own fucking house? Don't stick your nose into other people's houses. You shouldn't be filming inside their houses. It's technically legal since they got the curtains and stuff open. But basically if the curtains were closed or something like that, that would not have been legal. And again, she wouldn't have been able to film it like that. But it's creepy to actually go around looking at other people's houses, even if you can see in it. Would you want people standing outside your house and looking into your room? Creepy. Is where the video abruptly ends. And she not only was staring into the house, she was filming it. What in the world were these creepy neighbors doing inside that house? Why were the lights flickering? And why were they all gathered in a circle? Were they practicing something deadly? Be sure to let me know your theory. Okay, the one on the left was completely out of, out of uh, the picture while the light was flickering. The light stopped flickering, turned off, and then she leaned forward and was back into the picture. So obviously she was hitting the light switch. Now as I said, uh, well this is obviously fake, especially from the light flickering. It's obvious that the one on the left was the one doing it, but... I think the more creepy thing about this isn't the people around the uh, table in the blinking light room. I think it's the person outside looking into the window of their neighbor and recording it on a phone or just recording it using anything. That is what's, what is creepy. Theories in the comments below. TikTok user It's Bridio posted a video to her account explaining that she woke up to the sounds of a child crying, which obviously freaked her out quite a bit. She then decided to pull out her phone camera to see if she could record the strange noises. Upon doing so, she ended up recording one of the most terrifying videos you will see in quite I a long time. Love these shots here, Make like sure to look moon. carefully and be sure to also turn your volume up so you can hear the sounds.
Woke up to the sounds of a child crying, and this is what I caught. Wake up, and there's something over there crying. Do you guys see that? Do you guys hear that crying? I'm turning up my volume a bit. What the f is that? I can see legs and stuff. It's kind of hard. It is a little hard to see because my ring lights are kind of clashing uh, with the dark screen. I do see somebody standing uh, to the left of whatever that I'm guessing that's a door at the hall at the end of the hallway. To me, it just like looks like somebody standing in the dark, though. What the? F if there's something over there crying, do you guys see that? Do you guys hear that crying? By enhancing the video's brightness and audio levels, you can make out what appears to be a small child standing at the end of the corridor, hunched over, and the crying sounds are much more audible. It's definitely a strange noise, but to this day, the TikTok use has not gotten to the bottom of this situation. I didn't hear any crying, but that might just be me. It just like, it looks like she has a kid or a cousin or something at the end of the hallway in the dark. The person's obviously feeling the wall to make sure that they're, I'm guessing, to make sure that they're in the right position. No matter what this entity is, I think it's safe to assume that this is one of the last things you would want to see at the far end of your bedroom. And that was five scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. I did enjoy it. I'm already subscribed. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next Thank video. Thank you, Sir Spooks. Okay, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, well, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, if you agree or disagree with any of my takes, go ahead and comment on it. Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next uh, video.